Hi, I'm Emily of Emily's Line Fitness, and welcome to your dynamic Pilates abs and back workout. In today's abs and back routine, we're not going to use any equipment, so all you need is a mat, or honestly just a soft surface and a little bit of space. From there, we're going to go ahead and get started. You can come on down to the mat, and we're going to lay down. So this workout is going to be focusing very much on your core, right, your powerhouse in Pilates. So we'll start laying down, shoulders are relaxing back onto the mat, hands can be next to your hips, and the heels should be about underneath your knees. You can take it a little bit further if you feel tightness in the kneecap, but other than that, you're going to keep those heels right under those knees, and we're going to start with some pelvic tilts. So you're going to tuck your tailbone under, engaging those abdominals, keeping the butt down for now, and then untuck the tailbone, arching the back. So you might be able to see I have space here underneath my back when I arch, and then I tuck, and then I arch. So we'll begin this Pilates workout here with just a little bit of spinal mobility so that you're ready to move when we get there. Notice if your thighs are flailing about, and can you stop them from flailing? As if you had a ball between your knees. And in fact, if you do have a ball, maybe you grab it. All right, from there we're gonna go into a full pelvic curl, so you're gonna tuck that tailbone, and then we're gonna to continue to round through the spine, so moving vertebrae by vertebrae, spine bone by spine bone, to come all the way up. Belly is firm here, yes, you feel the backs of the legs and the butt, but really focus on the abdominals and on that spine. We roll down vertebrae by vertebrae, taking your time here. We call this articulation, spinal articulation. And this is when you're really separating each spine bone from each spine bone, going down the line of that entire spinal column, arch the back, inhale, exhale, tucking the tail, continue exhaling, continue pulling that belly button in tight, really round through that back, like a strand of pearls, you go one pearl at a time. At the top, firming those abdominals, inhale, and then exhale, we round down nice and slowly. Woo. Been a little bit since I've done a, a slow pelvic curl. I love it. Inhale, arching that back. Exhale, tucking the tailbone, firming out the abdominals. Again, notice if your thighs are flailing. Keep them super controlled. Hip width apart. Good, hitting that highest point. And then once you're at that highest point, inhale. And then exhale, coming down. All right. So we work the lower spine, now we're going to get into that upper back, that thoracic spine. I want you to have a neutral pelvis. This means you're not arching the back, neither are you tucking the tail. If you have a history of lower back pain or you have a lower back injury, a slip disc or anything like this, you do whatever is best for you. Typically that would mean you maintain a tuck, so you keep that lower back pressing down. Hands are going to whoop, come behind the head. Hands are behind the head, really form a basket here, no bonus points, we're having a light tippy tap. We wanna really give our head some support. Elbows are wide, but you should still be able to see them in your periphery. We're gonna crunch up, you exhale up. Maintain that neutral, I started to tuck, bad habit. And then inhale, coming back down. So now we're thinking about the upper back, around those shoulder blades, your thoracic spine, which for most people, is round, so the skeleton works in like an S curve. So your thoracic spine around your shoulder blades or on your rib cage, that is domed, which we want for the most part. But for some people who are a little bit more inflexible in the upper back, just getting this roundness is gonna be a really big challenge. I'm thinking about someone in particular, and if they need to take more time, it's okay. Coming up. Just taking that left hand to my rib cage so that I can see you more easily. And then I can check to make sure that abdominals are contained. Up. All right, you can stay here if this feels good. I'm gonna take my knees into a tabletop position to advance the exercise a little bit. You come up, and then you come back. In Pilates, you use your breath as a guide here. So we're gonna exhale, come up. Inhale to freeze. Exhale to come down. Inhale to prepare. Nice, now let's make it a little bit faster. Exhale in to come up. Inhale in to come down. You got eight. In six, we're gonna hold that crunch. 
in four, in three, in two, hold the crunch. We're going to add a little arm extension. So you're going to extend the arms past your hips, take your hands behind your head, and then lower all the way down. So that's the movement all together. You crunch, you extend your arms, you bend your arms, and you lower down. Use that breath. Exhaling, keep exhaling, inhaling to go down. When you extend those arms past your hips, ideally you're not losing any height in the shoulders. So I'm not dropping down, I'm staying up. Just a couple more, and then we're gonna hold it up. In four, you should feel those six packs right on the top of those abdominals here, excuse me, right on the top of that body, that front of the body. In three, your most superficial layer of abs, your, your um, rectus abdominis. Got one more. Last one, this one, we're gonna hold it up. You ready? Oh, yes, I'm ready, okay. Hold it up, extend those arms, bend those elbows, and then take both of your hands to your right knee and extend that left leg long. You can use your biceps here to get a little bit higher, and then you're gonna keep your right hand where it is and reach your left hand for the inside of your left ankle, or excuse me, the inside of your right ankle. Feet, when you see them, should be on the same line, so we're not twisting up, right? We have everything on that same line. We're gonna switch, switch, and switch, switch, and switch. Good, switch, and switch, switch, and switch. Nice, in, and in. And in. Can you lift your shoulders a little bit higher? You're gonna inhale for two, and exhale for two. Inhale for two, and exhale for two. Chin is lifted off the chest here, like you have a grapefruit on the front of your neck, and you don't wanna smash that grapefruit. Give me four, we'll go for a double leg stretch. In three, in two, Last one, both knees in. You can take your head down for a second. And then once again, pressing the knees into the hands, hands into the knees, you're gonna roll up. We're gonna do both legs at the same time. So you're gonna stretch those legs. Lower is harder, so you can also go higher, that's fine. And reach your arms behind you, and then come back up. When you reach those arms back, keep your shoulder blades lifted. Full expression here, inhaling out, exhaling in. Now you can also reach out to the side. I can because I have this lovely wall behind me. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, eight. You can feel free to take your knees past that tabletop position. Five, four, in three, we're gonna hold the legs long. Two, last one, hold the legs long, hands behind the head, just crisscross those feet. Open the shoulder, excuse me, open the elbows a little bit. Can you curl your shoulders higher? Can you lower those legs for four? For three, two, and one. Knees into the chest, pulling those knees in nice and deeply. Just stir them around for a moment. All right, so we worked a lot on the front of the body. Now we're gonna get into that back body. We'll straighten both of those legs. Inhale, sweep those arms over. Contract your abdominals here. We're going for one roll up. Inhaling to prepare, and then exhaling. We roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Nice job. All right, from there we're gonna go into a spine stretch forward. If you have very tight hamstrings, what I would recommend is either you sit on a yoga block or you just roll up your mat. So my under mat is very dusty, so I won't show you that. <laughs> But if I just were to fold my mat and take a seat on my folded up mat, I already feel like I have a bit more access. I'll be able to get lower in that fold. We'll see how we go, okay? But know that that's always an option. Feet are a little bit wider than hip width apart, so I think of 10 and two on a clock if right in front of me was midnight. From there, we're gonna reach those arms forward, and as if you had a string coming from the top of your head, you're gonna straighten that spine, growing tall. We talked about the natural curvature of the spine. Here, it's almost like we're trying to iron out that curve. Really use those back extensors in that upper mid back to pull the chest upward towards the ceiling. Just hold here. Despite that length in the spine, the rib cage is not popping forward. It is softening inward. 
From there, you're going to inhale. And then as if you had a giant beach ball in front of you, you're going to come up over the beach ball, pulling those bellies in, C-curve, and then round forward, reaching past those heels if you can, and then restacking the spine tall. Almost like you're a robot. Shoulders down, inhale. Exhale, we go forward over that beach ball. At the bottom, inhale to prepare. And then exhale, scooping the belly in and rebuilding that spine. Inhale, exhale forward, dipping forward. Inhale to prepare. And then exhale, roll all the way up. I feel this so much, inhale. Exhale forward. I love Pilates and I hate Pilates at the same time because this back work is so challenging for me. Mm -hmm -hmm. But I have to tell you, doing Pilates improved my posture like you would not even believe. I didn't even realize that I had poor posture. Then I started doing Pilates <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'm hunched over like 99% of the time. We gotta fix that. Now notice that your feet are starting to flap around, right? We don't like flapping, we don't like flopping, fluttering. <clears throat> we like firm. We like strong, tall feet, toes pointing directly to the ceiling. Now in just a moment, we're gonna hold it in that forward fold. Inhale to the bottom. Exhaling, restacking that spine. This next one, we're gonna hold it in that forward fold. Make sure your kneecaps are pointing upwards. I was starting to turn out. Holding it forward. I want you to lengthen the spine even here, growing taller in that back. Those hands reach up, and then pinkies touch the mat. Long, long spine here. I'm trying my very best to lengthen. You might be lengthening and have your chest even lower than me, in which case, amazing job. For me, this is where I need to be. If you're still rounding here, come up all the way nice and tall, okay? We want to keep that long spine. That's our priority here. In three, belly in. In two, last one coming all the way up. I'm going to turn towards you, and you will ideally turn towards me. Hello. All right, so the feet are going to be a little bit wider than hip width apart now. So before we were at like 10 and 2, maybe we were a little more 11 and 1, we're even wider here. So get that nice wide straddle stretch. From there, the hands are going to come out to the side and the palms are going to face up. Bend those elbows. Think of a sprinkler. You're sitting tall. We're going to twist to the left. Twisting to the left. Twisting to the left. I don't have enough space. That's okay. You're twisting a little bit more than me, probably. Good. Twisting. To the left. Back to center. Twisting to the right. Back to center. Let's see if I need a little more space. If my feet come out of the frame, I'm sorry. I want to prioritize that twist. Good twist. The feet are still there, even if they've come out of the frame. Now, as you come through center, you grow taller. So we're not crouching or crunching. Spine stays long. You got four, and then we'll double it up. In three, this is your spine twist. In two. Now we're going to double it up. My thighs are vibrating. You go exhale, exhale. Inhale, pass through center. Exhale, twist, twist. Inhale, pass through center. Now notice I am trying to keep my toes pointing towards the ceiling, but they are wanting to point out towards the sides of the room because that would be easier. Center. Center. Give me four more. Four. Center. Three. Center. Two. Last one each side. One time to the left. One time to the right. And then coming to center, you can go ahead and bend those knees, finding a crisscross applesauce position. From here, we're gonna get into our saw with our knees bent. Saw is a very challenging exercise. Having the knees bent is gonna be a little bit easier. I want you to lengthen your palms out to the side, again, turning them forward this time, and then bending the elbows. So we have our palms facing in, now we have those palms facing forward. Relax the shoulders down, and grow a little taller in that spine. You're going to twist towards the left side of the room, and then reach that right arm forward on the diagonal, come back to center, hold the twist, and then come back to center, releasing that twist. So you twist, extend that left arm into this little twisted uh, forward fold. You come up and the elbow hold the twist, and then you come back to center. So you're going to go inhale, twist, exhale, reach, Inhale, twisting up, and then exhale, center. 
Good, big exhale twist. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Inhale, back to center. You should feel that entire spine, all those back muscles, your core working as well, and even the shoulders. Just a couple more here. For four, for three, for two. Last one coming back to center and then turning towards your mat. We're gonna lay on our back here, finishing with just a little bit of back extension. So lay down, make sure you have some space in front of you and some space behind you because we're gonna kick the feet and flutter those arms. I want you to lay down, hands are underneath your head, belly is pulled in, and the legs are about hip width apart. If you have any back pain, you're gonna open those legs a little bit wider. We're gonna keep the toes pressing down and just lift the chest and the head. You come up, inhaling, and then exhaling, coming down. Inhaling up. Exhaling down, inhaling up, exhaling down. If this is a little bit too much for you, keep your hands behind you. You inhale up, you exhale down. You inhale up, you exhale down. This is just gonna release the weight, or excuse me, reduce the weight a little bit. Inhale up, exhale down for three, For two. Last one, I want you to hold the head, neck, and shoulders up, and then float those feet as well, and start to kick the feet. You inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. Can you lift your chest a little higher? And now reach your arms forward. You're swimming with the arms, and you're swimming with the feet. Swimming with those arms. And swimming with the feet, can you get a little taller? You got eight. Notice if you're craning your neck, drop that chin towards your chest. Six, keep pumping, pumping, swimming, swimming. In four, in three, in two, and one. You can lay all the way down here. Inhale, exhale, hands next to your chest. Pressing back, finding your child's pose, your rest position. Knees are wide, feet are together. Reach those hands forward and drop your forehead to the mat. From there, pressing up into your cat cow. Knees are underneath the hips here. Hands are underneath those shoulders. We'll just go for a couple of cat cows, dropping the chest, flaring those sit bones towards the ceiling. Chin lifting. And then exhale, rounding the back, tucking the tail, tucking the chin. As you inhale and drop the chest, think a little bit more of extending in the upper spine. So really pulling those shoulder blades down. And as you round, think of rounding more in that lower spine, really tucking that tail. Last one, come back to center. And then you can take a seat and turn towards me. Excellent, excellent work. I hope that your abdominals and your back are feeling much stronger than when you started. If you like this video, then please like it. And if you wanna see more videos like this, then please subscribe to my channel. It is Emily's Aligned Fitness. I would love to see you there. Again, great work. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time.